Hi Capricorn, welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I truly appreciate your love and support. Capricorn, today we are going to find out how does your person currently feel about you and also please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it will not apply to each and every one of you. Spirits and angels, please to show me important accurate love. Let's just for Capricorn today. How does Capricorn's person currently feel about Capricorn? Okay, please bear in mind that roles can be reversed in this reading. Could either be how your person feel about you or how you feel about them instead. So five of cups is in reverse and we got the knight of wands in reverse. Hmm. Um, in some ways, I feel like Capricorn person is hoping that maybe they could slowly uh, return to you, okay? But with the nine of wands in reverse, they're actually not making it too obvious, I would say. They could be planning something, but they're not making it too obvious. And with the king of cups here, it could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Again, nine of wands in reverse can indicate you're dealing with an A.B. Sagittarius Leo can be any sign, okay? So you've got the nine of wands here. They feel like maybe you're very guarded right now. They may have hurt you in the past, but they do have to love you. They do have the emotions for you. And I feel like they do feel sorry for what had happened between the two of you. Seven of cups is here and the eight of cups in reverse. They're actually quite confused and wondering if they should be offering you the uh, this new beginning, offering you their heart, okay, eight of cups. In reverse, it may also indicate them having a lot of options. Perhaps not all options are good. The only option that's the best, I uh, feel like it is you, but you may have rejected them or that they may have lost lost you, okay? So we've got the King of Swords. Let's see a bit more here. I like to scatter the cards around, so wherever you land, um, to me, it's a sign, okay? So, Wheel of Fortune um, with the Nine of Pentacles here in love first. Mm. They feel like maybe you are changing direction with the Wheel of Fortune, but this may also mean that they want a second chance with you, um, hoping for a second chance. But with the Nine of Pentacles in love first, this can actually be your energy. If you like, maybe you're not working towards this connection. Maybe you are also, maybe you have rejected them as well in the past. Hmm. Maybe feel like you're no longer invested. Some of you, maybe they also think that you have moved to a different place, okay? Uh, if it's not moving literally or physically, it could mean, it could just mean physically, uh, metaphorically. So I've got the strength here. It could be dealing with a Leo. So um, we've also got the double here in reverse. Capricorn, double in reverse. Mm, I do sense some feeling that maybe you have released them. One point in time, you know, both of you may have been very, very, very close, very connected. But this connection, maybe they feel like you think it is not healthy, so you may have let them go. And with the Queen of Swords here in reverse, they may also feel that you're angry with them, you resent them, you have you're holding grudges towards them. And with the strength card here, they're just trying to deal with you or deal with the situation very tactfully or delicately. And also we've got the emperor here. Oh, the strength may also indicate them holding back right now, okay? They're holding back. I do sense them wanting to offer you love, but at the same time, they're still trying to weigh out other options, I feel, but they know other options are not good enough. If they don't know yet, they're going to find out later, okay? And that they're going to slowly try and sneak their way back into your life, but they're not going to make it very obvious. They are going to make it really, really <laughs> sneaky, okay? Um, they're going to be very sneaky about it. So we got the High Priestess here on uh, Capricorn. They feel like maybe you're giving them silent treatment right now. The strength card may also indicate them feeling that maybe you are holding back from them right now, okay? And with the Emperor, mm, they feel like you are, you know, standing your ground. You look at the Emperor, he or she is wearing this, these boots. It's not gender specific, okay? These steel boots, so basically putting a foot down. And with the Two of Pentacles here, 
they may be feeling kind of indecisive right now, although they feel you are indecisive. So there is definitely a confusion energy that I'm getting here, feeling kind of like can't quite make a decision. That's what I'm getting. But with the Page of Cups here, um, I do sense them feeling really sorry for what had happened. They may want to talk to you as well, Page is a messenger. Perhaps they want to send you a message. Uh, I'll try to be... I feel like a bit of a flirty or cheeky message. Maybe they've already sent it to you. Maybe they haven't yet. If they haven't yet, it looks like they could be planning to send you like a cheeky or flirty message so that it seems less serious, okay? But they're still indecisive with the two of them goes whether they should or shouldn't, okay? Hmm. King of Swords right here. They actually feel like both of you are a true match because we got the both. We've got both King and Queen of Swords here. However, Queen of Swords in reverse, so one of you could be you or them. One person is super upset. Okay, in regards to what had happened in the past, maybe this person may have been a liar, cheater, Knight of Swords in reverse, inconsistent, non-committal. Could have been anything, or had a bad attitude, or bad addictions, mm, obsessive, possessiveness. Could have been any of these things. But they're definitely a strategizing king of swords here. I sense them being feeling pretty serious in regards to reaching out to you, sending you a message here. But I feel like they're going to, again, they're going to be very sneaky in their ways to um, approaching you, okay? I feel like they're just going to make it seem very trivial or it's just very small, like a small um, message, like a very flirty message. That's what I'm getting. And then slowly build from there. To just kind of like test the water to see if you're open to talking to them or if you're open to maybe getting back together, giving them a second chance. So it's got the five pentacles here in reverse. I feel like they don't want to feel left out in the cold anymore. Um, they also may be feeling with the nine of pentacles here in reverse that they need you in some way, shape, or form. Whether in um, maybe because if both of you, I don't know, if both of you actually work with each other, then they may need you. If if not, if both of you have maybe maybe they need you for I don't know, could be money as well, nine of pentacles or emotional dependency, either any of these things, okay, because nine of pentacles in reverse can indicate some sort of codependency. So they need you in some way, shape or form and I feel like um this is why they really want a second chance with the Wheel of Fortune here. But they feel like you do not trust them with the Page of Swords in reverse. They feel either you're stalking them or that they themselves are stalking you right now. If you're not stalking them right now, then they must be stalking you, okay? So they are very sneaky. <laughs> Again, I don't know why I keep saying the word sneaky. It's only because I feel like they've got some strategy here, okay? But deep down, they are very serious. If they come off very light, but deep down they're very serious. All right, Capricorn, this is your reading. I hope you resonated. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to leave you with one video on the screen right now. This is the video from my second vlog channel. If you guys are interested, check it out. If not, it's fine too. And I hope to see you tomorrow at your next reading. Take care, Cass. Bye.